Everybody loves a good story in a book, a movie, a film, but can you imagine a world where story doesn't exist? If you want to connect with others from history and far into the future, this video is for you. Hey, I'm Jeff Katurban. On this channel, we talk about the creative process and overcoming obstacles so you can follow your dreams. If you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. And if you want more content on creativity, be sure to subscribe. Storytelling isn't just for entertainment. It's what makes us human at a fundamental level. It's what connects us. Stories help us imagine a better life, a new way of doing things, and maybe even living on Mars one day. Stories make life interesting. They make life worth living. In this video, we'll go exploring from cave paintings to Ted Lasso. You'll learn why civilization and storytelling are entwined and why that matters to you and why you need to be telling stories of your own. Once I was in Athens, Greece, and I stumbled upon this really cool music shop that was filled with guitars and all kinds of really interesting stringed instruments like this bazooki. And I met the owner, Giannis, and Giannis was telling me how he had been born in an apartment in that building and now he owned the building, he owned that music shop. His story was very brief, but yet he shared something of himself. He made himself vulnerable. He wasn't trying to sell me on anything, but I connected with Giannis and his story so much that I did end up buying this bazooki. And so now every time I play it, every time I look at it, I feel connected to Giannis, to that shop, to Greece. And it makes the music to me more beautiful because I'm connected to him and to his stories. We've used stories since the dawn of time. It's how we pass on information from one generation to the other. Before the existence of writing, there was storytelling. Our world wouldn't be what it is today, for better and for worse, without the traditions passed on from one generation to the other. Stories are the thread that connects us all. Think about cave paintings and the stories they tell us even today. They were like the original comic strips. There were no words, there were pictures, but they were telling us a story, how they lived, how they hunted. They were telling us what their lives were like. When I think of great storytelling, I think of the ancient Greeks, those long stories they would tell, those epic poems, sometimes lasting hours and sometimes accompanied by music, often with a harp. Well, because the bazooki hadn't been invented yet. One of those stories from ancient Greece was the story of Pandora's box. The story about how Pandora opened this box and unleashed all this awful stuff into the world. Funny thing, originally Pandora's box was written as Pandora's jar, but Somewhere along the line, there was a mistranslation. So maybe now we need to think outside the jar. Hmm. Whether it's a story about a box or a jar or something else, connect with those stories, go to a museum, get online, read a book, watch a documentary, whatever that is, immerse yourself in past cultures, past traditions. Those stories will come alive because the stories were made by people. History isn't just a bunch of dates. It's about the people and the actions they took, the incredible things that they did. Connect with them and their stories and your life will be enriched. The late sci-fi writer Ursula Le Guin once said, story is our only boat for sailing the river of time. I just love that quote. And even that line is a little mini story unto itself. Think about the stories you've heard in your own life, maybe from your family, from your parents or your grandparents. What traditions do they bring along with them? Maybe from another country or from generation to generation. My mom's a great storyteller. When I was a kid, she loved telling stories about how she grew up on a farm in Nebraska and how when there was a storm, the family would gather in the cellar and her father would have to wire shut the door to keep it from opening but it would kind of flap open and through that crack in the door, she could see bad storms, she could see lightning. I myself have actually been hit by lightning, but that's a story for another day. Once a tornado came through and afterwards, she found a cow head in the front yard. These were her stories and her stories became my stories. They evoked emotion, they painted a picture, they were really, really provocative and interesting. Often when I think of tornadoes or bad storms, I think of my mom's stories and I think of her when she was young and what she must have been like and what she must have felt in that moment. And it's almost like I'm in the cellar with the family looking up at that cellar door flapping around. I feel like I'm standing there next to her looking at that cow head. It's like I'm there in that moment and it's kind of magical. Tell your stories, tell your stories to your kids, tell your stories to your family, write them down, record them and paint a picture when you do. Talk about how you felt, make yourself vulnerable, share a part of yourself with another person. Stories can be a powerful tool to help others. You can help those who've been through trauma and stress or maybe who are going through difficult times now. Think of a difficult time in your life and yes, acknowledge how difficult it was, the challenges you had to face and how hard it was. When you tell a story, it allows others to connect on a deeper level with the emotions in that story. It allows us to share our human experiences and fosters a deeper understanding of compassion and belonging. It helps us find common ground and allows others to feel validated and heard. And that is so important. Vulnerability leads to those deeper connections and fosters trust. It can be so validating for the other person, so powerful for you, and so beautiful for the world. Tell your story. 
open yourself up, be human. I love reading nonfiction and watching documentaries, but sometimes life is really stressful and overwhelming and you just need to escape. Cue Ted Lasso <laughs> during the pandemic. Ah, the pandemic. Who didn't want to escape during the pandemic? Thank goodness for Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso is one of my all time favorite shows. At its core, it's about kindness. It has heart. It's about love. It's about joy. It's about grief. It's all about all these things that we deal with in life, but ultimately it always comes back to kindness. It's so beautiful. Yes, Ted Lasso is fiction, but it rings true on a deep, human level. Ted Lasso is a great example that escapism doesn't have to be fluff. And think of any Marvel movie or Star Wars movie. At the core, those films are about good versus evil. Immerse yourself in some other world, some other place, but you might find that you're still connecting on a human level with those characters and you might feel this resonance. You might feel validated. You might feel heard and it'll just feel really great and you might feel uplifted, just like I felt uplifted after watching Ted Lasso. Stories can simplify complexity. You might also say story over statistics. What problem are you trying to solve? How can you put your audience in the center of whatever service or product you're providing? If you're giving a presentation or making a pitch, don't just list the data points that will put your audience to sleep. Instead, tell a story, a real story, a made up story. It doesn't have to be anything long. This one time I was buying a new fridge and I went to one of those big box stores and I was looking at all the refrigerators and trying to figure out what they could do. I was looking for a salesperson, but there wasn't anyone around. So I started reading the bullet points listed on each fridge and what it could do. I had no idea that a fridge could do so many different things, but I wanted more. I wanted some kind of human connection before I made this really expensive purchase. It felt really cold to me. And yes, I know a refrigerator keeps things cold, but I wanted some something, right? So I'm looking around. Finally, a salesperson comes over and they just read the bullet points on the fridge and it left me even colder. So I didn't buy the fridge and I went somewhere else where someone could like talk to me for a minute. And I don't need some big sales pitch. I don't want a sales pitch. I want authenticity. And yeah, maybe you don't have a great story to tell or something, but share something. Be vulnerable in that moment. Tell me a little something about yourself, something heartfelt, something that you've experienced. Maybe you've had trouble buying a refrigerator in the past. Maybe you're working at this other store because you had a bad experience somewhere. Tell me something. Don't promise me the moon when you're selling me a fridge, but if a fridge could take someone to the moon, I might be interested. The next time you're giving a presentation, weave a story in with those facts. Connect with your audience on a deeper level and they'll remember that presentation far more than they ever will if you just list the bullet points. Story is what makes life worth living. Without story, life is boring. It's not even life. And the world is filled with great works of fiction in literature and film, works that comment on the human condition and touch us to the core. And often it's through fictional stories that we can connect on an even deeper level with our humanity and with truth. One of my all-time favorite books, The Unbearable Lightness of Being by Milan Kundera. Kundera recently passed away. He was a Czech writer who lived in Paris for many years. One of the many things I love about this book is that it elegantly and beautifully talks about this idea that there is no dress rehearsal for life. We're all like actors going out cold onto the stage without a script. There is no do-over. It's poignant, it's powerful, it's beautiful, it's human, it's a thing that we all can connect to. And even though it's fiction, it's truth. Life, to be human, is about connecting with those who came before, who are here now, and who will be here in the future. We as humans are made up of atoms, but we're also made up of story. Story is in our DNA. When you engage in storytelling, you're connecting to the great story of our humanity. Stories can help us build empathy and connection and being vulnerable can help others who might be going through a difficult time. And if you're going through a difficult time, reframe your story. Story is what makes life worth living. It's the single most important thing you can engage in. Your legacy is at stake. What stories will you leave behind? What will they say about you? There's an old saying that goes something like, as long as they say your name, you'll never die. So let me ask, what will they say about you? I truly believe we're all creative. You're creative. Now it's your turn to go create stories, real and imagined, and you will touch the lives of others. You will leave a legacy. You will connect with humanity. I'd love for you to share a story that's had an impact on you in the comments below. And together, let's build a community of storytellers. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like. And if you want more content on creativity, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And remember, you're creative. Go tell your story.